One of the most challenging parts of my job is keeping my feelings of excitement from influencing my honest impressions of a vehicle, especially when that vehicle is an exciting one. And I don't think there's ever been a vehicle I've been more excited about than the 2022 Lynx Rave RE850. So today, I'm gonna to put my excitement aside and do my absolute best to be completely objective in my evaluations of this sled. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what this sled is and what it is not. It is not just a Renegade with some visual differences, and it is not designed to perform like a Renegade. The Rave RE is a purpose-built sled designed to pound big bumps really, really fast. It is not a crossover. The Rave is a trail sled. What sets it apart from the rest is what kind of trail it's designed for. And finally, the Rave is not a Skidoo. It's a Lynx, designed by engineers at Lynx and assembled in Finland. Now that we have those points out of the way, we can talk about how it actually performs. Though I, I do need to add one more note here. I could spend 20 minutes talking about this sled and not cover off everything. In the walk around videos I did for YouTube, you can get a lot of information about the specific parts that make up the Rave RE and how it compares to a Renegade XRS. Now I wanna talk about how it actually works instead of going over all that stuff again. So I'm just gonna to touch on some of the most important specs then move right on to ride impressions. Power comes from BRP's legendary 850E Tech mill and is transferred through their incredible P-Drive clutch. The sled is built on what Lynx calls the Radian platform, which is basically the G4. Lynx calls this front suspension the LFS Plus, and yes, it is the same as RASX. Headlight, gauge, switch gear, and a few plastic bits are also shared, but that's really it. What gives the Rave RE its personality is a combination of its unique rear suspension, incredible shock package, and unique ergonomics. These things, combined with the stuff I previously mentioned, give it its own unique DNA. Now let's talk about handling. Knowing what I do about this PPS3 skid frame, I fully expected the Rave to handle poorly on the trail. I assumed the dramatic weight transfer from the uncoupled skid frame would result in the sled being too light up front and not biting in the corners. I'm very pleased to say my expectations were entirely incorrect. The Rave actually handles great. The front end tracks predictably in the corners and it offers just enough body roll to weight the outside ski and cause it to bite hard into the snow. The actual skis themselves also help with the handling. They are a Lynx design that is much wider and flatter than a pilot ski and have a longer, deeper keel. At a quick glance, they actually look much more like a CNA Pro, but I digress. What matters is that they work. Steering effort is light, and the sled feels both flickable and confidence-inspiring in the tight twisties. Simply put, I have absolutely no complaints about how this sled handles. Ergonomically, I find the Rave fits me great. I'm a taller guy and the overall riding position of the Rave is fairly upright. The seat is tall and firm and where it meets the tank is incredibly narrow. The seating position places you slightly farther back on the chassis and it all adds up to an extremely comfortable riding position for aggressive riding both sitting and standing. In my opinion, the more upright riding position of the Rave actually contributes to its great handling. Having the rider sitting up taller actually creates a higher effective roll center, which helps weight the outside ski in the corners, as I described earlier. Now let's talk about ride quality. We know, based on everything Link says about this sled, that the Rave is designed to be ridden hard through the biggest bumps. The PPS3 skid frame was designed to allow the sled to transfer its weight back, lift the skis, and ride through moguls on its track like a dirt bike would on its back wheel. And it works exactly as promised. You can pound moguls on this sled as hard as you want and it never really seems to bottom. When it does, it's not harsh at all. But this big bump composure comes at a price that I'm sure won't be surprising. Those massive 46mm Kashima coated KYB HLCR shocks are awesome fully adjustable and incredibly capable and tough. However, they are valved extremely stiff. I set all four of them to full soft on our Rave and even at the softest setting, it still rode very stiff. 
In my opinion, it would really be a benefit if Lynx valved these shocks approximately 40% softer for the North American market. That way you could soften them up if you want to ride smooth trails, but still have lots of adjustment to make them firm enough to handle the biggest bumps you can possibly find. Is this rear end unlivably stiff? No, definitely not. In fact, it's more than livable if you don't mind a bit of a firmer ride. It's certainly not terrible. I just think it could be better with a minimal amount of effort. Now that you have a good handle on how I think the Rave RE performs, I want to talk a little bit about how it feels to ride. It offers something that is slowly being lost on North American sleds as time goes on. That something is playfulness. Many of us remember Polaris's Pro X in the Pro Ride chassis. If you were going to describe that sled in one word, it would definitely be playful. Like the Pro X, the Rave is a super fun and active sled to ride. It will lift its skis and wheelie on command. You can even wheelie it through a corner by leaning off the side a bit. It encourages you to move around on the sled, yet requires very little effort to make it do what you want it to do. Is the Rave RE the perfect sled for everyone? Definitely not, especially not with the shock set so stiff. But if you're the type of rider who doesn't want to just direct the sled where you want it to go, to not just control the sled, but actually become part of the action, to push both its and your limits whenever the opportunity arises. I honestly can't think of a better sled choice than the Lynx Rave RE 3500 A50. With that said, they're only available to order in the spring, so if you want one, you better not waste any time.